Tammy and Ben Adventures. Tammy and Ben Adventures follows a husband-wife team as they share their ups, their downs, and sideways on YouTube. I'm like measuring the one. Jeep top, and then we measure the space in our garage that we were going to place it. <laughs> Don't try this at home, folks. <laughs> I'm almost positive that's not how it's done, but I don't own a Jeep. <laughs> They do a lot of projects together that they share, but they have really gotten into some of the YouTube tags and challenges with other channels lately, like the frugal prepping. I like to make casseroles. I don't make casseroles very often. I love tuna casseroles, but I also just like to make it with like red sauce. So you've like... Now, these were the only ones they had of the rings. The rings are my favorite. They're better than the chunks, but they had three cans left, so I got all three. And then come and the then kitty photo bombs. Brand new at the Dollar Tree that's like 14 ounces. So this is no video on Tammy and Ben Adventures <laughs> would be truly complete without the total invasion of cat. <laughs> it's not a super exciting haul. It's kind of um, some of these things can be used for the holidays, and then some of the stuff is just like for my own. Uh, prepper pantry, but I thought that I would share with you guys. So a pea protein, it's vegan. They're keeping so those frugal prepping uh, videos coming. So if you're into saving while stocking up or even like frugal natural, natural remedies and ways to save in the kitchen, and the tortilla. check out Tammy and Ben Adventures. Earth Sea Detroit. Earthseat Detroit features Lottie, who thrives on her relationships with nature and everything that feeds her soul. Earthseat Detroit YouTube channel is a branch from the larger tree of plant-based healing and community health and well-being and finding your center through various metaphysical practices, um, honoring the past, so and so preparing for the future. In organizing this... I can see right now it's going to be a process, right? Two ounce labeler, my tea bags, or at least in a windowsill where they can uh, get the moon beams. There are also nods to spirituality. There's also decor, but even those videos are a part of sharing tips on self-love as it makes the soul cheerful when the surroundings are pleasant, right? There are also videos on book reviews, foraging. Now that you've got it, what you gonna do with it, right? <laughs> Say what now? <laughs> Pine cones. Oh my goodness, you're my favorite. Mm, that's your safe delicious. and cool. Uh, that's a, mm. a good eating. And also herbal medicine. And two of Lottie's greatest passions, adoption. Hi, it's Lottie, and it's been a while since I did an update around my DNA reveal. It relates to the whole, you know, the scheme of things in the universe and where you're placed. I have no doubt that I was with who I was supposed to be with. I've gotten some messages in already that uh, are still unfolding. Then there's gardening. Anything up there with gardening is reading a book. Earthseed Detroit shares lots of her gardening adventures during the growing season in Detroit. This is the garden so far. See the tendrils? I'm gonna keep an eye out for grapes. You know, we often don't think of our yards as a source of abundance. The sunflowers got eaten. This, I believe, is my morning glory. Some New England Aster, which is a great respiratory herb. Right now, being the end of the year, she's focusing a lot on reflection and meditation, not to mention celebrating winter solstice. So if you want to see how doable a vegan or partially vegan lifestyle is, gardening or just getting lots of motivation for intentional and conscious living, or you want to learn more about the spirit of adoption, check out Earthseed Detroit. The life of a fisherman's wife. Now, what could this channel um, be about? I started this YouTube channel because <laughs> I am, um, I really love memory. I really love preserving memories. Not only can I make it a permanent way to always have my memories, I can put it on YouTube. And not only for me, but the world to see uh, vacations and giveaways and give you all ideas. Well, those are some strange looking fish. Okay, not really. This oh, channel so isn't 100% fishing, but it's close. And I was like, she got me. She got her mama. Because when he will go out and not come home at night because, you know, now he's grown. You know, he's grown. He think he can do that. She would sleep at my door. They fish all types, 
panfish, salmon, perch, bluegill, crappie. And it seems like they're trying to catch, clean, and cook from every lake and stream in the United States. But this is a lake. We're at the state park. I don't know where he's going now. He's he, he packing up his stuff. But he's enjoying himself. Guys, I think they are loving the fisherman's wife. I am on the bigger ones. They even catch pumpkin seed. I only caught one or two that day, but still. When they visit these fishing <laughs> spots, they take in other attractions too. Yeah, do kisses or you're not getting your money's worth. <laughs> so people want. If he don't want to so if you're ever out I fishing and you hear, he I'm in love with fishing. you're going to know you just stumbled upon the life of a fisherman's wife. Drop in and say hi. Fun projects, challenges, and frugality. Connecting community with health, history, and holistic living. Creating memories through vlogs while catching, cleaning, and cooking the country. Are these your people?